The plain Antonov An-225 Maria, which translates as a dream, is one of the main symbols of Ukraine. This is the only aircraft of its kind that has set 240 world records. Without exaggeration, Maria can be called a legend of world aviation. This is the largest aircraft in the history of mankind. Unfortunately, during the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the plane was destroyed. Now its wreckage stands at its native airport, from where it first took off more than 35 years ago. However, British billionaire Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Galactic and the first space tourist, expressed his readiness to help Ukraine construct the new An-225. He recently visited Ukraine, inspected the destroyed plane and confirmed his willingness to help. According to him, the new Maria will set many more records and become even more perfect and strong as it will be built on modern digital equipment. But does the world really need such a huge plane? Or is it just another whim of an eccentric billionaire? You will find it out right now! First, to assess the feasibility of restoring Maria, let's find out the cost of the new aircraft. No problems will arise with the repair or manufacture of engines. These are the same D-18Ts that are used on Ruslan aircraft. That is, they can be produced and repaired in Ukraine. By the way, Ruslan is the younger brother of Maria. This is also the large Ukrainian cargo plane, but a little smaller. Ukraine can produce aircraft engines independently. But most of the other details for Maria were made in the Soviet Union. All this, of course, can be replaced with new and more modern components, but the price will be high. If we omit intermediate figures, the cost of the new Maria could be about $3 billion. But will such spending be economically justified? Is the capacious niche of large-size cargo transportation enough to count on the payback of the new Maria construction? The maximum cargo carried by AN-225 in the past was 247 tons. But it was not one load, but several units of agricultural machinery. Ruslan would have coped with such a task. It would just have to make several flights or use several aircraft. But in the end, such transportation would have cost more. Maria's closest competitor is the Airbus A300 Beluga. It can lift 47 tons of cargo into the sky at a time. In comparison with the capabilities of Maria, this is nothing. There is a demand for such exclusive transportation in the world. In 2021, Maria made 49 flights, and in 2020, 54. That is about 4 flights per month. Not much at first glance, but given that this is the only offer on the market, the price is appropriate. It has been calculated that 100 flights of Maria brought almost as much money to the Antonov Corporation as 1,500 flights of the smaller brother Ruslan. The second advantage of Maria, after carrying capacity, is the dimensions. An-225 is not just big, but very big. Suffice it to say that this is the only aircraft in the world that can carry other aircraft. And this is another market segment where Maria will have no competitors, which means it can dictate any conditions. And finally, the primary value of the AN-225 is that it can serve as a launch pad for space shuttles. The aircraft was created for this purpose and even made 14 flights with the Buran shuttle, one of which took place at the world's leading air show in the French city of Le Bouget. And although the USSR and Russia were never able to launch the space shuttle program fully, in the USA, this direction was implemented more than successfully. For 30 years, American shuttles have made 135 successful flights into space. And it is this direction of using Maria that interests Richard Branson. His company Virgin Galactic is engaged in space tourism and commercial cargo launch into Earth orbit. Moreover, it uses the concept of air launch for this. The White Knight 2 carrier aircraft is now used for this purpose, which can only lift 17 tons to a height of 15 km or take 200 kg of cargo into low orbit. At the same time, Maria is capable of lifting a 100-ton Buran into the air. The difference is impressive. It turns out that Branson's investments are not at all just a whim, but a well-calculated economic project with unlimited prospects for the future. And for this, the British billionaire will spare no effort, time and money. So we can say with a high degree of certainty that a new Maria will appear in Ukraine after the war. Well, let the dreams come true!